It's your host with the most from the YouTube show. So what do you do? And if you don't know what you do, ask yourself. So what do you do? And today we are here at Serious Business Studios with the head engineer KT, who has engineered some of your favorite artists in the Bay Area, like Neff the Pharaoh, as well as the biggest shark in the sea, Chezzy. Chezzy is also going to be joining us a little bit later in the show, and I cannot wait to have both of them here to join us here on So What Do You Do? KT, what's going on, man? Thank Shit. you for joining us. Thank you for having us here at the studio, man. Appreciate it. What's been going on, man? What's what's new? How did you get into becoming an engineer? What is what is that like for you? So uh, we started out, me and a couple of my people going to the Grill studio in, in um, Emeryville. Mm -hmm. And um, we realized we just, you know, we didn't want to pay money to go to the studio. So um, I just started engineering in my room, in my bedroom. I had acoustic treatment up, a little, little computer. Artists would come to the, studio, to the, to the house and we would just, just get it going in the room, in the bedroom. And then I realized I wanted to branch out and you know work with more people than right. old friends. I wanted to branch out. So we got the got the lab. We got the lab thing. You see it. It's, it's uh, six years coming. Oh, you've been in this building for about six years now. Since since you started in your no. room. You, no, I, you said that wrong. I said that wrong. Oh, okay. I said that wrong. <laughs> Um, I've been engineering for six years. Okay, okay. Um, and it's, this has been a dream, dream of mine for six years. We opened the studio in May, um, oh, May of 2020. What? Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, so yeah, it's, congrats. it's. That's huge. The COVID was a blessing because a lot of uh, businesses got kicked out. Um, so we, you know, you see us, you see us now. Thriving. Thriving. Still thriving. Yeah. 2021, still sure. going at it. Yeah, so you do it, you, you started off, you started off in your room. You yeah. said you had the acoustics and stuff going on. What kind yeah. of tools would we be using back then? Six years ago, we started off with just a little little Mac, Mac computer and then the Pro Tools, nothing else, just a little, little uh, dynamic mic, um, little $400 mic, and that's that's where we started. Were you teaching yourself how to use those tools, or did you have somebody kind of kind of walking you through that process? YouTube University. YouTube University? YouTube University. So who was the first, can you remember the first artist that you ever really engineered? You know, when I got serious, I think K Jules was the first artist I started recording. Okay. K yeah, Jules, yeah, yeah. yeah. K, K Jules is actually from the area of Fairfield too, right? Yeah, now. yeah. K Dot, yeah. K Dot, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's the name, that's the artist name. And I feel like uh, he's also a part of you guys' team here at uh, Serious Business Studio. Yes, sir. What yes, else sir. is he a part of here? So he's uh, he's a part of our marketing team. Um, he's he's a uh, he's a rapper. He does he does a little auto tune. So here you are. Yeah. Six years later, started started in started in your room. Mm -hmm. You now is the head engineer with your own place, yeah. your own studio. Yeah. Uh, got your got you a team. Yeah. What's 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 next? What's coming for you next in 2021? Next is uh, owning some property. So this is uh, we we rent the space here. This is a space we rent. Next is owning owning something. You go off and you're training yourself in YouTube University, trying to figure out how you use these tools. I'm looking at, I'm, I was behind already looking at everything that you was doing. You got three different screens. Walk, walk us through the process. Can I, can I move the mouse now? And yeah, yeah. I want to just see like, so people, people already see the B-roll. I just want to know what is, what is your process? How, how does this usually go? Cause we had already filmed some DJs, DJ mm. Big Cali, DJ Anastasia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dope DJ Anastasia. Yeah. Uh, and I was saying the same thing, you know, it's, it's a little bit similar of the, kind of tools that they use as as far as the turntable, but I know it's not it's no different. Near similar. It's a little different. So uh, this is Pro Tools right here. So uh, we start off by getting the levels right. So the artist, you want to make the artist feel as comfortable as possible when they come in the studio. This is artwork. You want, you want the art to be organic. So you try to make them feel comfortable when they come in. Once they get in the booth, and they feel comfortable with it, they might, you know, they might sip the drink a little bit right, of something. Right, right, right. Little cheers to that. A little, little cheers to that, you feel me? Little cheers. Once they feel comfortable, you get the levels right. So you don't want to peak too hard. You, you know, you want to have the levels just right. Once the levels are right, the vocals come in through here, and then you mix them down. You give them the sauce. How long does that process usually take? It depends on the artist. I mean, I've I've seen some some really professional artists, you know, get get verses done. I won't say names, but get verses done in like 15, 20 minutes. My guy Chezzy here, you know, if he if he got a fat enough um, thing he's smoking on, you know, he he get it done in 20 minutes. If you smoke on some teaching yeah, trees, he, he gonna really get it done. You, in you feel me? Minutes, you, know what I'm you, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Then there's other artists that might take four or five hours to get a song done. You know, it's funny that you had already burned that up because I was gonna ask before Chezzy even got here, mm -hmm. what's his what's his time frame and 
You know, how, how does his process usually go? If he's smoking on something, it's, it's nice and quick. But if he if he drinking on something, it might take a little longer. <laughs> so. Oh man. Well, well, well. Let's 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 hope he had came in with with the Tahitian and. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look, what's the word with uh with the Scrooge McDuck here? What, what's going on? Yeah. With? So uh, my guy uh, D Dot the hottest uh, Freshworks Dotty um, did this for me. That's that's my guy. He does a lot of artwork for us here at Series Business Studio. So it's just uh, it's just a representation of, of us as a team. It's uh, Scrooge was one of my favorite growing up. He used to swim in his money. He used to you know he was worried about his money. He used to swim in his money. Yeah. And it just it just kind of helps us stay focused. That's what we, you know that's that's what we focus on here. We serious about our business. And then we just put a put a little you know with the gold teeth a little. Teeth, a little, yeah, a little swag amount. With his gold chain, you feel me? A little player real quick. Yeah. I think the shark might have just arrived. Let me grab the dog. I think the shark might have just arrived. Shark Yeah, because we're doing my nigga, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's poppin'? You said, hold on. Why y'all doing it big in here, right? Yeah. Chessie! Shark! What's going on with your boy? Yeah. Glad you can make it. Hell yeah, man. It's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. What is got me going on? I need to put Adderall. Uh, <laughs> shark! Uh, shark! We got the biggest shark in the building. You hear me? Got the biggest shark in the building, Chessy, man. We in this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Swimming deep deep in, man. You know what I mean? You see what I'm rocking? Yeah, I'm loving that. You know what I'm saying? That's, what I'm looking, that's looking good on you, man. I mean, why, 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 why biggest shark? Why do you call yourself that? Yeah, I'm just swimming, man. I got to eat by all means. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like that, nigga. If you in the water, nigga, you my prey. I mess with the water, but like you said, you gotta be a different type of animal to really be in that water. Man, you know what I'm saying? And when you when you out here maneuvering, you know what I'm saying? You in that water, you know what I'm saying? And and what else to be than the, you feel me, the biggest shark, you know what I'm saying? Eating everything, I ain't getting ate on, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, you gotta respect that. It's like that, you know what I'm saying? So shit, biggest shark in the water, man. Ain't nobody fucking with this shit, man. Is that the mentality that you go in with when Every you're day. to pray with your, your, your music? Every day, nigga, I'm just giving it to you raw and uncut how I'm coming, like that, straight like that. Chessy, back in 2020, you dropped four albums. Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven? Seven. What? Seven. Oh my goodness, man. When I was coming over here, dude, I'm over here. I'm okay, I'm count I'm dumb over here counting them up. I thought I seen about seven too. I don't think some of them had the years on it. That's why I, yeah. why I was getting confused. I seen the uh part of my uh interruption too. Two. Say Grace. Uh Planet Vegeta. Planet Vegeta. What was the other one? It was uh New Developments. New Developments. Dude, how are you coming out with so so much material? You you putting at least seven, eight, ten tracks on, on each of these song, on each of these albums. How are you coming out with so much material? I'm giving you my life. It's shit 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 every day, man. I'm I ain't lying to the people, you for me, it ain't no gimmick, you know what I'm saying? I'm just coming how I'm coming and I'm I'm trying to feed the people, you feel me, feed the streets, flood them. So would this be something that you would sort of motivate the other artists to do, like you need to start putting out more albums, just tell your story? To each his own, everybody ain't got that much to tell, you feel me? So it's just what I'm doing, I'm flooding the streets, you feel me? Um, I got a lot to talk about, I ain't been in many situations, I done been through a lot, you feel me? I done did a lot, so I got a lot to talk about. Um, I done did all of this, you feel me, on parole, federal parole, you feel me? So. I'm just, I'm just moving. So you still able to go ahead and do your maneuvers, still make your plays, while having this this pro thing going on. But at the end of the day, you can't stop because time ain't ain't waiting for nobody. I'm working. Fuck them. If they gonna send me back, they gonna send me back. But I'm working though. I'm trying to get to that dollar. What motivates you to keep to keep wanting to say, shit, fuck, fuck what they talking about. I gotta keep doing what's what's right for me, and that's putting out this music. And that's dropping these albums and dropping gems. It looked good on the surface, but my background fucked up, you feel me? So I'm really doing this for my people, you feel me? Moms, niggas on the block, you feel me? That's struggling, you feel me? Going through what they going through every day, you feel me? My uh, my extended family, you feel me? I don't, I don't come from no money or no shit like that, you feel me? I'm doing this for everybody who ain't never had nothing, you feel me? I'm trying to make it, make everything just, you feel me? Bubble, I'm trying to bubble out this motherfucker. And, and we finna bubble out this motherfucker, you hear me? That's like, hey look, 
you 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 got a different voice already. When you when you when I listen to your music, it don't sound like the other artists that I'm that I'm accustomed to listening Man. to. How long did it sort of take for you to figure out your style? I always just really did me for real. Like I ain't never really tried to sound like nobody else or nothing. Like I just I just was spitting that shit. Either you liked it or you didn't. God bless me with that. I can't change my that voice. <laughs> uh, I got a deep voice. You know what I'm saying? Some people like it. Some people don't. You know, you hear a lot of rappers be having like the high voice and right, right, right. all the. I used to be like, damn, like why well, I ain't got no high voice? Like maybe I shouldn't do this. I ain't got no high voice. Right, like right. you feel me? Like but I just always did me, bro. I just. Always you feel me? Just drop that shit on them people, and they just start picking up on that shit. Man, with that being said, what you doing? You you've been able to connect with engineers like KT. That's uh, my guy. How's that relationship? That's my guy, man. That's my brother right there, man. He, nigga, I came home from the feds, nigga. He seen me recording in Vallejo. Just you feel me on house arrest. I couldn't really. I ain't had too much wiggle room. I was going there for an hour or two and had to be back in the house. He he spent through there one time, you feel me? Like, I'm fucking with you. Like, I'm trying to, you feel me? Let's put it together, let's connect the dots, you feel me? And we connected the dots and we started putting it down. I started pulling up to the crib. He don't even have people pulling up to his crib for real, for real like wow. that. Like, you feel me? God bless me, you feel me? Have what it took for him to feel like he comfortable for me to pull up to his crib, right, right. pulling up to his crib every other day. We knocking that shit down, you feel me? We just started organically connecting. It was electric connection. We just putting that shit together. You've been through many trials and tribulations. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But through those trials and tribulations, you've been on the up and coming. Yeah. Uh, I've been hearing the voice, voice of Hunter's point. point. Yeah. You got uh, songs being released. Uh, that's been produced by Lil Reese. For sure. Uh, you got songs that you've collabed with Larry June. For sure. Uh, who is also another San Francisco native. Frisco uh, Giants, uh, man. Y'all some two, some t the the two, the what? Shoot, probably the two biggest San Francisco artists right now yeah. in in the game. For sure. You know, on some street shit. How, how 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 is that connection even come about? Man, that's my brother too, man. You know what I'm saying he. I came home. He took me under the wing, you feel me? He did me like this, you feel me? I got you, you feel me? Just do your shit, you feel me? Uh, I just been grinding, you feel me? Trying to hold my hold my weight, hold my weight on it, on my end, you feel me? I don't really look for too many handouts, I just, you feel me? I try to hold my own and he lift me up how he can, you feel me? Told me to come on the tour, you feel me? I paid my way through that. I was just blessed to get the opportunity, you feel me? I don't do all you, 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 you come from coming home from the feds being on house arrest meeting up with kt connecting the dots uh keeping it going staying mo motivating yourself to just staying true to yourself uh now connecting with what larry june now you're on tour yeah how has this transition been going for you like you know like is it is it all it's, i'm pretty sure it's all new to you but that shit crazy bro that shit crazy. I always look at that shit. That shit be crazy for real. Like, you feel me? It's, with, with, with Larry, it's deeper than rap, you feel me? So I was just really supporting bro. I'm pulling up on him whenever he got like a pop-up and shit like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or his different business endeavors, right. you feel me? I'm pulling up to support you. Bro, I'm fucking with you. Like, like you the truth. Like, bro, you been the truth for a minute. Like, he been, you feel me? We been fucking with it. Like, I'm just following through with was being proposed to me. Right. I following through with it. He kept it real. You feel me? One of the solidest niggas in the game that you're gonna meet. Like took me on the tour, you feel me? I've been on plenty of tours, you feel me, but it wasn't no legitimate tour, you know what I'm saying? He took me on a legitimate tour, you know what I'm saying? We worldwide with this shit now, you know what I'm saying? Frisco Giants, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to get this spotlight on the city, you feel me, for them real, you feel me, major leaguers, not no minor leaguers, you know what I mean? Look, that's dope. Look, I was actually blessed to have the opportunity to even bring you out on stage. For sure. Uh, for Love that. Tours, but I was, that was amazing just to see you go out there and, and do your little one-two. I was yeah. really feeling that. And I was, that <laughs> for was sure. really feeling, man. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to go check out any of his his uh, his shows, y'all make sure y'all go check out his shows, man. For uh, sure. Chancey, look, I'm a, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. You know, for I got sure. a few Dragon Ball Z tattoos myself. Yeah. Uh, you got an album called Planet Vegeta. Uh, the artwork is 
is is you and the Vegeta, uh, the Vegeta Saiyan suit. Yeah, the original Saiyan suit. You know what I'm but saying, it's, but it's you. But I'm Super Saiyan. Fuck, I'm I'm Super Saiyan God. How'd you, know you get this idea? I'm Super Saiyan God. I'm in God mode. <laughs> I'm in God mode, you see me, you know what I'm saying, with the ducktails, you know what I'm saying, with the red hair, you know what I mean, with that red hair, you know what's going on, you know what I'm saying, if you know what's going on, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, Definitely I'm in God mode with that or, with that original, you feel me, that original armor on, you know what I'm saying, if you, you feel me, like, it's like that, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm powered up. Biggest shark landed on Planet Vegeta and the powering up turning Super Saiyan. Girl. Man, it shit sound like I blew up Planet Namek. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Hey, look. Look, but look, I need to know, for real, for real. Before you have pulled up, I, I asked, I asked KT. Yeah. I said, KT, man, look. What's the time frame Chessie usually be doing when he's putting down a song? Yeah. He says about a good solid 20 minutes. For sure. 20. Can you agree to that? Like a, a good bit 20. Less, is it longer? It, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, if I'm smoking on that high eye, you know what I'm saying? The high eye? If I'm smoking on that high eye, you know what I mean? It'll be about 15, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? But off that, you feel me? You feel me? When I get that dark in my system, I'm drinking, you know what I'm saying? Now, you feel me? It'll have me in here kind of discombobulated. It might take me, you feel me, an hour, two hours to knock a song out, you know what I'm saying? Are you crazy? You feel me? But off that high eye, you feel me? Off that ah. Off that amen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> About 15, 20 no minutes, we knocking shit down, man. As an artist, do these do these words just be coming to your brain like this quick? It's, it's just, just me, man. I'm just being me, man. I'm just being Chessy, man. Yeah, look, dude, I, I, I promise you, I got a guy brother who do the same. This dude, he, look, my guy, look, he actually, he actually is the one who had, who, who did this Tahitian trees right here, For right? For sure. Man, this dude does this stuff, and I'll be so amazed. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, do you, as an artist, how 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 do you start thinking of your lines? Like one of your lines was, "I'm a different type of nigga. I still sweat when it's cold. I fuck with them. Hey, how, what like what? What does that even mean? Like, I'm I mean, so confused on what you be saying, but it be it be making sense. It ain't really no way to come up with it. It's just real life. You know what I'm saying? I, I tap into a different. I'm 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 in tune with myself. You know what I'm saying? So when I say I sweat when I'm cold, I mean that. Like, I, I still sweat when I'm cold. Like, you feel me? Like, I done been outside and it be freezing and I'm cold, you feel me? And uh, I'm sweating though, like, you feel me? Because I'm hot, like, you feel me? On my internal, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really that when I'm saying, what, when I say what I say, I, it's that. Like, it ain't no, yeah, it ain't no gimmicks, it ain't no, People be looking into it too hard, trying to yeah, figure it's, yeah. it's really that. Like, I, I still sweat when I'm cold, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? When it's cold, when it's freezing with them hills, I, they, they, I, but I'm sweating them though, you feel me? I don't give a fuck if it's freezing outside. Bitch, was, on, bitch was happening, you know what I'm saying? What's, what's going on with you, you feel me? What you doing, baby? You know what I mean? Like, what could do, baby? You feel me? Don't hope for free, hope for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like that. I know you just came in here. We had to get you to start talking about your little shit. For sure, we appreciate to, that. We had to get you to start talking about uh, how you the biggest shark in the water. For sure. But man, I, I need I need to know how this partnership is between you and KT. So I wanna I wanna get both of you guys in this interview together. It's all good. All That's right? my guy. So, KT, hey, come on in here, man. We gonna we gonna switch. I'm gonna switch you seats.